Hi everyone, welcome, welcome to, to the Olympus Around the World video. Let, Let me start by introducing myself. myself. My, My name is Michael Barberol and I'm Olympus NDT Senior Specialist. The, the topic of today is to show you an ECA application using the Omniscan MX1 and, and the Magnaform Pro. This, this Magnaform has, has been specially designed to perform well inspection on carbon or stainless steel, but can also be used on other material. Firstly, I will show you what the Magnaform manual kit consists in, then we will move on to the Magnaform Pro built-in, and finally we will perform an online demonstration with the reference sample supply into the kit. Ready? Then here we go. The manual kit contains four main parts. The first one is the buggy which contains the encoder. The second part is the magnaform itself. We'll discuss about it just after. Four wedges, which are able to fit a wide range of part shape. For this demonstration, we will use only the flat wedge. And a reference sample, which contains an infinite defect used for the calibration. Five transverse defects with different depth. And two longitudinal ones. Regarding the Magnaform, it's a flexible prop concept designed on a PCB, then printed circuit board, which allows to cover an area of 67 mm in one pass. There are four layers of sensitive elements split into two groups. One group used to perform the liftoff measurement and the other group to perform the defect detection. Inside the prop body, there is a magic box which allows to perform a dynamic compensation in order to be free to the liftoff effect. To install the wage, it can be performed as an easy way, just sliding the wage into the prop body like this to go to the back of the prop body then put the prop in contact with the wedge and using the scratch it's possible to keep the PCB in position like that then we have to put the prop inside the buggy like this Put the probe in contact with the wedge and then by tilting like this by tightening the screw just to lock this just to lock the probe and then the probe is installed to perform the inspection you have to use a specific so software which is installed on the Om Omniscan MX1. This software is called the Emix MXE Weld. Okay, when you select the MXE Weld, you enter directly into the Magnaform setup. As you can see here, the frequency set standard setting is 200 kHz with a 35 dB gain without any phase rotation for the liftoff. For the setting, you have to use one wizard, which is called calibration. This calibration is split into two parts. First step, the sensitivity setup. Second one, the depth sizing setup. If we select the sensitivity setup, there is an easy way to calibrate the probe. You have just only to press start, like this. Okay, then you have to lift the probe into the air like this to perform the balancing. As you will see, the balancing will be done only one time at the beginning of the calibration phase. Then you have to press next 
two values are defined into the wizard. The first is the target angle, then the phase of the defect detection with an angle of 65 degrees, and finally the amplitude target with a 9 volt. You can press next. Okay, then we are ready to perform the first acquisition by pressing start like this you perform the acquisition of sorry the infinite defect pressing stop using the cursor you can select the infinite defect press next and then compensate the lift off then you can move on to next return the probe to its first position press start and then perform the infinite defect acquisition again press stop using the cursor you can select the infinite defect press next next and then compensate the sensitivity of the probe when the sequence is finished you can press finish. To confirm the good setting, we, we can, can now perform the full acquisition, acquisition sorry, to perform, perform the full acquisition, acquisition of the sample, like this. Okay. Press freeze. And then check the amplitude of all detected defects like this. As you can see, the first defect, then the 0.5 millimeters deep defect, is detected with a 2.2 volt. Then, in order to be more sensitive, we can reduce the color palettes maybe to 8, something like that, or 9, no, no, yes, okay, and then reduce again, okay, right, and then press valid to define the new color palette. As I told you, this magna form is with a dynamic liftoff compensation. Then to simulate a liftoff, I can use a shim like this of 1.5 millimeters thick. Put this shim on the sample and then perform the acquisition. As you can see here, there is no change for the defect detection. I can use a second layer of 1.5 millimeters thick, put again on the sample, try to rescan. The sample like this and all the defects are detected. I can use this coating on the half of the sample like this, sorry, up, redo the acquisition, and all the defects are fully detected. 
The magnaform is able to perform the inspection up to 3 mm lift off value without change of sensitivity detection. Then there is a possibility also to perform the depth sizing. To perform the depth sizing, we have to use a calibration phase using calibration, sizing. And the first step will be to clear all the values which are recorded into the, the system. Then pressing clear, then start like this. We can perform the full acquisition of all defects like this. Okay. Press stop and follow the result. Then we can record the defect depth value. Then in this case, it's 0.5 millimeters deep. Of course, if you use another sample with a different depth value, you can change here the depth value like this. But in this case, we can keep the 0.5 millimeter deep. We can record the first value. For the second one, it's so a one millimeter defect deep. We can re record the value. Third one, it's a two millimeter deep defect. Record the value. Here, it's a three millimeters. Record the value. And the finally, the last one, which is a four millimeter depth defect. Record the value and then finished. To confirm the setup, we can perform a new acquisition like this. Okay. Freeze the system and then now we can check the value of the defect. For the infinite defect, it's a real 4 mm deep defect. The first one is a 0.5. Second one is sorry, joke. Point one, uh, one millimeter. Sorry, then one, one point one, two millimeters. Yeah, three millimeters. Then two point eight, and four millimeters. It's sure that it's just an estimation of the, of the depth effect, but it's correct. Yep. Even if we perform an inspection with a coating, we can also perform the depth sizing using it. Then the step is to clear all the value to start the sizing calibration, then to take into account the coating thickness, then stop, next, then it's a 0.5, 0.1, 1, sorry, 2 millimeters, 3, And four, then finished. We can check again if the sensitivity detection is correct. Like this from the full acquisition. Freeze. And then now we can confirm the value. Then four point five. One, yep, let's change a little bit here. Two, three, and four. The magnaform is an easy way to perform weld inspection because with the lift off compensation with the automatic compensation, you are able to detect with the same sensitivity detection all defects which are into the well toe 
and the crown. Thank you to follow this video and see you soon for a new one. Bye.